call for us if you need it. Sergeant Bachelor. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm back from another stream. Supervisors on right now, so we got Bachelor with us. Need us. Just call us if you need us. Uh, yeah, Looks like Reigns is going Rains. motor. Uh, biggest thing I got is uh, let's make sure we're spreading out, no cluttering in one place. You know, um, and l definitely not several people at like you know fire station having a dance off or anything like that. Um, other than that, uh, pay attention on what's going on around you. Uh, if you're pulling over somebody and it doesn't feel right, you can always call for backup. Um, you know, other than that, let's uh, have fun, <coughs> be safe, be kind, uh, make everybody feel welcome that they're here in the county. That's all I got. We're all good here? Yep, we're good. Hey, get out. Okay. Let's go. Rock and roll. Does it mean is my watch broken? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just uh, daylight saving times and all that crap. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, guys, we've got Kimberly with us. She's just off screen again. Oh, mate, I'm getting dropped frames. Off to the muddy mountain I go. Oh, I know why I'm getting Please. dropped frames. Say again. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna quickly. Can't pause it, so. We'll see how we get on. If it gets too bad, then uh, we will work things out. Alright, let's get radar up. What are you growling at, kid? Uh, radar's enabled. Oh, whoops. I was out of the game again. And we want... 210 is going to be 10 eight. Oh yeah, that's what we want. I'm going to sign into the card because we haven't done that. Tango 221, same traffic. Delta 240, same traffic. Oops. Hold flash. MD. Golf 233, same traffic. Charlie 206, same traffic. Hmm. Okay, guys, so we just got to fuel the Silverado up and then we will be heading out. Low Kitty, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Ruby, thank you for hosting the stream. Hope you're doing well. But, uh, yeah. I'm guessing you're not going to be patrolling tonight if you're watching the stream. So, uh, yeah. No dramas. And here is Sean a bit. still showing oh well yeah not doing too bad cheers dude how about yourself how's the how's the audio for everyone by the way is it okay because i can change things up a bit if needed oh it's green light hey kid okay, what's up hmm? yeah by the way, I've got Kimberly here with me just off the screen, so if you hear any like sellotape going or anything like that, then uh, yeah, that's what that's what's happening. I'm good, a bit tired at the moment. Just trying to... Oh, oh yeah, it's your first day at work again, isn't it? It's your first day back at work since you've uh, been off with that injury. 
but that was a shock to the system. What's up, kid? Second day back. Okay, my bad. Uh, ah, there we go. Ah, uh, you're watching from Argentina. Holy crap! Didn't re didn't realize I was uh my channel reached out that far, but yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Chicken south County. of North America. Gonna be on a 1011 postal 2000. Gonna be south Braddock Pass, uh, just past the tunnel. It's gonna be I think on Argentina what is appears to be a blue and checkered of... top. Uh, it's Argentina a classic like and be America, two times one. Can you roll me an additional sure. tango unit, please? I don't think I'll... I don't think it is, actually. I'm not sure now. Tango 221, I'm in route. Hmm. What happened? Why was why was yesterday bad? Was that just because it was a shock to the system, Ruby? Get on those painkillers, bro. And to be fair, you probably should have, like, probably done some, like, uh, what's the word? Rehab on your knee as well. Uh, I want to make sure I know where Argentina is. As far as I'm aware, it's in South... Yeah, it is. That's where Argentina is. <laughs> Tango 221 on scene. Okay. Alright, guys, so let's go do a beat sweep. <laughs> Trolling this big old, uh, big old boss of a Silverado today. Physiotherapist twice a week actually. My injury and appointment yesterday before work, and I have one tomorrow before work. So, ah, uh, right. So, hopefully, then you'll, uh, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll be up on your feet in no time. Well, at least firing on all four cylinders again. That's for sure. By the way, apologies if I'm dropping frames at the minute. Um, I've got download going on in the background, and it's been a bit of a bit of a pig and uh it's taking its time basically and now my my internet is sort of like confused between uh uploading and also then um <clears throat> uploading and uh downloading so if the stream is if if the stream is struggling a bit at the minute i apologize cheers dude just pull out on me your dad should have pulled out on i'm not going to finish that sentence Cheers, kid. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, uh, um, if the stream seems cruddy, apologies, but I will work on uh, getting this video uploaded as soon as possible. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, Kimberly saying hi there, guys. <clears throat> um, the recording will be because the stream's also recording directly onto my hard drive so there shouldn't be any connection issues or lag or anything like that when the episode uploads which if everything goes according to plan that should be episode 22 yeah start to get up there yep tell me about it <laughs> 
Mate, she's, she's using my lap as a footrest and everything. She's like proper at luxury here. <laughs> Nodding your head. Oh dear. County, show me back tenant. Oh, is it snowing where you're at, Ruby? Ah, I see. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I was gonna say actually, uh, what, what are your work doing about it? Are like are they easing you back in or are they just saying, right, we need you for all the hours and all the days? 13 months a year. There it is. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Yeah, well, at least it's good that you've got a boss that understands. I'm actually going into work tomorrow for half a day, taking trouble here with me, and we're going to pick up an empty trailer, an empty trailer from Middlewich, and then bring it back to the yard. Charlie 200 is out on a 1050 slash reckless driving at 3010 East Joshua. You can go ahead and send me an additional 32. He's being violent. Ooh, possible DUI here, guys. Yeah, that's Reigns. That's my boss. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. And, um, yeah, uh, yeah, no, it's always lucky when you got a boss that understands. Definitely. I could say the same about my boss. He's a genuine, he's a, uh, he's a good guy. Yeah, then, then I've got the real boss over here. Uh, well, I'll just, yo, he's got overtaken by two the, people uh, in a single way. Alright, we'll start drifting over to East Joshua, then we'll, uh, we'll cut the, uh, beat sweep short here. I only have some up here, kid. But that does. Huh. See how it is. this picture okay <laughs> fair enough do you want to announce that or shall I you got to announce it if you want it to, to happen build your confidence up trust the company that more or less shows I can't I can't read your chat while I'm driving <laughs> yeah well at least, at least it's sort of a shitty situation that's being looked after and not a shitty situation that isn't um ruby busted her leg at work um, uh, was it at work actually i mean do you mind Explaining to everyone here on the stream what happened again. Kimberly's kind of interested. Uh, she's a teacher. Is it primary care or secondary 
uh, primary school or secondary school? I forget. Gravy's gonna type it out and explain it in a moment, I suppose. Alright. What song? <laughs> Ruby, 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 Ruby! Hi. I do you do you do you do ya? I can't sing. Alright. Two thirty six, it's gonna be a property check, five zero zero five Fort Zancuda. Because Fort Zancuda really need a SO unit to do a property check. God damn it. I busted their gate down. Again. What is? It is actually. Not that I'm trying to say anything. <laughs> mm, I bet. Oh, well, the guard's off on lunch, I suppose. I don't know where he's gone, but whatever. <laughs> Ruby is an elementary school educator at the daycare. Works lunch and after school. Oh, wow, the gate's actually open for me now. Awesome. Uh, I work at lunch and after school with a group of kids until their parents pick them up. Yeah. Probably does, I imagine. I mean, it's very stringent here in the UK, so I imagine it's probably just as stringent in Canada. Canada. Scritchy scratch. 236, code for tonight. I went outside with the kids and one of them was cold so I decided to do jumping jacks with the kids to warm up and that's when I hurt my knee. I got a second degree tear in the collateral medial ligament next to my kneecap. Charlie 200 dispatch, if you can go ahead and send me a counting tow to this location yeah. for one four door Izzy with a checkered top. There's a good chance I probably also dislocated my kneecap, but it popped back. Wow. Grim. Apparently it popped back by itself. I'm not sure whether that is unlucky or lucky, to be fair. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the little again. gremlin just belched on stream. 237 will be 10 for the Oh, I can smell that. Oh. <laughs> Guys, thank God streams haven't invented smell o vision yet or whatnot, because that is actually. That came out of you? Jesus Christ, woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need air. Uh, I need fresh air. Hmm. Good lord. Stinky little gremlin. Stinky little ginger gremlin. Damn it. Tango 221 back to me. Dude, I'll straight up give you a tenner if you let rip your loudest belch ever. Why? Why not? What's up? What's up? My gremlin. You're my gremlin. You don't know. Oh my god. 
thought that's like an I thought that was an EpiPen at first. I was like, oh shit, here we go, I'm about to get stabbed in the leg. What is that, like Tipex or something? Have we got Tipex? The stream be dropping frames. Say again. No, no, it's just the, it's my internet connect being sucky. Oh, she'll probably be playing later. Probably start at the minute. Say again. <laughs> hmm. I hope she goes better today. Downtown Cabco is active in Blaine County. Well, what's the point of it being called Downtown Cab Company then if it's operating in the county? Uh. Yeah. No, to be fair, I've got issues with my knees, but I've got something called jumper's knee, where basically the patella tendon that runs up the kneecap, if I'm doing any sort of, like, strenuous exercise or anything like that, it tends to, um, it tends to wear down quicker than it can repair, so I, like, any time I'm working legs at the gym, um, you know, I, even if I wanted to, I can only really work them once a week, just because of, how long it'll take for the uh, tendons to then repair himself. So yeah. That being said, in a in a job where you're driving a truck and climbing up three steps up into the cab and back down again, um, luckily it's not too bad. Um, in that I'm now in a job driving trucks where you're doing more driving than you are jumping in and out of the cab. But I remember when I was doing multi drop, you in and out that cab so often that it's just yeah it, it does get a bit of a joke after time oh jeez did you hear that yeah yeah that was, that was me clicking my neck here in case that uh if that um popped up on, on the thing on the mic 237 county signal 11 305 two sonora freeway Two times two thirty six. Go ahead. Are you ten eight, sir? Turn four. Seven, can I have you back me three zero one three nine dive across the marina drive, please? Turn four on the way. Two thirty seven two two ten. Ten nine. Two thirty seven to two ten. Go ahead. I'm right around the corner if you want me. Uh, 236, what's your 20? I'm gonna be turning on to Marina now. 10 4, 236, current heading this way. 10 4. Touch my booty. Uh, not on my screen, Sarge. All right. Hey, uh, we got a big issue here. Um, the plate on that car is a 22 kilo Bravo Mike 574, and as you can see, let's see map black exemplar, I believe it is. Yeah. However, when I run the plate, that car comes back to a carbon black slash race yellow Volker ingot. That is not a Volker ingot, nor is it race yellow. That is definitely. Oh. Yeah, and um, that plate comes back to someone by the name of Joshua Tilly, and he yeah. gave me the name Carl Richards. So we've got a major issue right now. Right. Well, I've seen. I saw a yellow, not necessarily black, but a yellow vehicle. I wasn't sure if it was an ingot, but 
I do know a, uh, a, a fellow by the name of Joshua Tilly, and he can be a bit of a shit stain for um, street racing. So, unless this guy's going to start doing donuts or performing in those sorts of activities, then this definitely ain't him. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the car then. Bring him back and talk to him. I'm not okay. going to I'm just going to try and see if I can get him out. Yeah, Rog. Be ready just in case. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Richards? Mm. Do me a favor, step out the vehicle for me. I feel safe in the vehicle, thank you. Uh, I'm not asking, sir, so do, a fa do me a favor, step out the vehicle and come back and sign in front of my round bar for me. I'm copying you, I expect you to. Uh, do I'm not being funny, but. What was it? Joshua Tilly does not you have this. I said, I'm doing what you're asking, like... and I'm standing, but. Uh, right, well, question. now I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle and stand in front of my car, please. I don't have to. Uh, yeah, you do. So get out of the vehicle right now. Yeah. Any questions you want to ask me, you can ask me here. Yeah, I'm not asking you when you're in the car. So get out of the car right now, or I'm going to take you in for failure to buy by lawful order. So get out of the car. I'll give you the keys, but... Give me. Go ahead and give me the keys. As long as I can stay in the car, then. No, you're going to give me the keys, and you're going to get out of the car, and you're going to stand on my uh, charger, and you're going to do it exactly as I say. Or we're going to drag you out and take you to jail for failure to buy by lawful order. Now step out. That's a tough one, isn't it? Not really. You either come out or you're gonna get case of prongs. So make up your mind. Tick tock, come on. Alright, do me a favor, go stand by not the front of your car, the front of my car. Shut the fucking door, man. Jeez. Hey, shoot, you got the high holes. Keys for me. Yeah, I got them, mate. So good. All right. He's in there, dick. 237 County. Right. Give me a favor, turn around for me. Check 305 oh, East North Freeway at the end. <laughs> What? Turn around, I'll explain to you in a minute. Just do, do me a favor right now and just turn around. I'm just gonna be detaining you. You don't need to. Yeah, I just so turn around right now. Turn around, I'm gonna reason? tuck you to the ground and cuff you. Turn around, please. For what reason? I'll tell you when I got you in cuffs. Right now, just turn around. No, turn, you turn, you just turn around. around. Just put your hands behind turn your back right and. For what? Because so we're telling you to. You turn around, or I'm gonna forcefully turn you around and cuff you and take you to jail for failure to abide. So it's I'm gonna tackle him in a minute. Is it an issue with the car? It's an issue with you and the car. So do me a favor, turn around. I'll like explain everything. Just do, turn around. Fuck's sake, man. You go for your high horse. All right, sir. Now, have you got anything on you? Anything we need to know about inside the car? Why? Uh, because you gave me a false ID. Mm. How did I? You gave me the name Thank Carl you. Richards, correct? That is my name. Okay. So go ahead and do me a favor and tell me why this plate comes back to a carbon black and race yellow Volker ingot to a registered owner of Joshua Tilly. Alright, check. Well, I'm gonna explain on the end of the day about that. Uh, 237 County, abandoned uh, vehicle, 3052, Sonora Freeway. Okay, That's did you buy the car from anyone? The reason I know that... The reason I know that... Yes. Alright, yeah. uh, do me a favor, just turn around. Have you got anything on you? I'm just gonna Terry Chris you right now. So, uh, just any guns, knives, anything like that on you? Mm. Oh my god, know. hang on. Two thirty-seven, back to me. Uh, Sarge? Yeah, what's up? We well, might have a discrepancy here, stand by. What do you mean? Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna take the switch with you for now. Uh, when we get something cleared up, you can have to take it back, alright? So, mm -hmm. just come on here, right. just do me a favor, just jump in the uh, passenger or the uh, rear seat for me. I don't see why it's necessary. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting you here right now just for your own safety. Uh, Shield, if you want to move over to the side of the road, I'm going to open this lane of travel to shut these cars off. Yeah, Raj, Saj. Right, um, Saj, I've actually, uh, I've figured this one out. 
Okay, what's going on? I'll be applying for Detective Bureau later. The right. number plate is technically incorrect. It is registered to a Joshua Tilly. However, the plate 22KMB574 comes back to a Carl Richards. However, this vehicle is displaying false plates. Right, but you see, the problem is, is the one that's registered to Josh, Josh Tilly, 22KBM574, is the exact same plate that's in front of me. 22KBM574. Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, so you said you bought this vehicle from a dealership? Yes. Uh, would you have any form of, like, a bill of sale or anything like that inside the car to prove that you did buy this vehicle from them? Uh, Joshua Tilly was one of my characters when I was in the Civ department. Right. Uh, what dealership did you buy from? Do you remember? Simeon's in the city. In city. Okay, so it was a local uh, garage then, yeah? He was a bit dodgy, but, you know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Shield, do you want to try and place a call to that local garage and uh, see if they re remember a uh, car Richards is coming in and buying this car from them? Yeah, Roger that, Sarge. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit more digging here. Do you want a shovel? <laughs> do you want a shovel? What uh, Warren puts. Two thirty three ready disregard. <laughs> All right. Sarge. Yeah, what's up? So uh, apparently, uh, this gent has purchase this vehicle at the dealership um, however the vehicle still yet to be registered um, and he purchased the vehicle about a week ago so he should have had ample time to register it at least register okay. it correctly anyways yeah all right uh what i'll do is i'll cite him for registration and follow him too close um and then we just let him go okay. actually i'll give him a fix a ticket for the uh registration yeah get that fixed okay Some road rage incident in the distance. Sounds oh, like well, probably going to be mood as well.
Sorry, kid. All right, sir. Yes. All right. Mr. Sure I'm gonna open the door for you. You can just go ahead and step out for me. All right, just come this side. All right, turn around for me. Alrighty, um, so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna be issuing you a fix it ticket. It's gonna be SA 107R 24, it's gonna be invalid registration. Um, you're gonna have 30 days to pay the ticket. <laughs> you're right. Um, if you yeah. don't pay it um, in 30 days, you will receive a $300 citation as well as a warrant. Yeah. Go ahead and just sign it here. Sorry, Sarge, I'm getting a phone call real quick. Yeah, that's fine, go for it. Okay. Oh, Alright, so that's <clears> it. Um, like I said, you were following too close. I see you do have a previous citation for following too close. So you might want to, you know, maybe knock it off. Uh, but it's moment in time, so you are free to go just get the registration fixed one more. Right? Uh, is this uh, officer yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, so that is, who's this? So, uh, you're free to go, okay? Oh, this is cool. Joe. I'm calling right, so in regards like... to a Deacon St. John, the owner of Yellow. Say again, sir? Ah, uh, this is Joe. I'm calling in regards to a Deacon St. John. He's the owner of Yellow Jack. Uh, okay. How did you get this number, sir? Uh, he has it saved in the bar, actually. Right, okay. So, I, I don't know, but I haven't seen him in a little bit, and I saw him this afternoon. He seemed pretty distraught, and he was talking about uh, uh, his friend, I think he committed suicide or something, and, and he said that he was, he was gonna, he was gonna see his friend again. Kind of concerned about him. Right, if that's the case, I would recommend dialing 911, sir. Alright, well, I don't know who to call. That's what I'm calling you, because your number was there. Alright, well, I'll head to the area, but call 911 as soon as you hang up this call, sir, and uh, make them aware of it as well, please. Alright, will do. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Oh my god. Warren being a dick now. Two three six two ten. Two ten with ten forty two. Ten four. Yeah, that would be Red Hill. Two three six Charlie two hundred. Be advised. Um. Myself and 210 have just stopped a Carl Richards in a black exemplar for um, invalid registration. He's then just proceeded to do a uh, donut in front of me after returning to the scene and I've been unable to locate him due to uh, technical difficulties with my uh, Silverado at this time. Hang on. 10 4. 2 three, 6. Be advised, I'm gonna have him by the firehouse coming onto Joshua Road. Drive with a black example of yeah, the side of the road. Car. Temple. Yeah, 
it has been. Okay. Why don't you do me a favor and turn it off so you can park it? So no more spark in it. I'll go move the Silverado, sure. Okay. I can explain. Uh, you can explain. Right. It's gonna sound silly and not believable, but I can try. So, I left the traffic stop not long ago, and this dude in, I think, uh, Washington decided to not move out of my way. So, I kept my foot down and tried to push him, and finally, it tried to go poof, and I'm riding on rims. Okay. Alright, well, I'm just actually here to back this other officer up because he was attempting to stop you. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to get to a repair shop to get it fixed. Carl okay. Richards, is it? Yep. Okay. Sit tight, Carl. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Sheriff. I'm... <sighs> this guy's wearing our patience down a bit. Um... I'm inclined to just give him reckless driving for the stunt he pulled in front of me because that was definitely deliberate. Ties or no ties, you're not going to spin out and go do lally on the road if okay. you know you've got rim only got, if you're only on rims. Yep. Um, I probably wouldn't let him drive anymore on the rims. Oh, no, I'm not going to. Either uh, have him, uh, you know, get out put a spare tire on yeah i'll be honest if i mean uh, with flywheels uh, just too. yeah well i was gonna say with flywheels just up there i'll probably just follow him up there if, uh, if you're okay with that and then obviously you can get his car repaired there yeah we'll just yeah okay 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 dogs all right i'll just write this citation up Oh, what the hell? Uh, right. Search RO, Carl Richards. Citation. Reckless driving. Just play from 2 to Fabian 5 tonight. I don't know why Rocket Cow keeps doing this, guys. Two thirty seven B Bay three. Right, Mr. Richards, it's going to be a citation for reckless driving. Okay, reason for this is if you're driving on rims, then you should know better than to uh, be pulling stunts like that and going at the speed you're going. Second stunts, I'm trying to get to a repair shop, thank you. Second to that, um, if you're going to sign, if you'll sign the citation here, it's not a mission of guilt, it's just saying that you're going to turn up to court for your state. Uh, what we're going to do is um, I'm actually going to escort you up to Flywheels, which is just there um, by the oh, airfield. No, no, because you're technically a road hazard, so I will be no, following behind you. No, you won't, because if, yeah, we've got, if we've got pedestrians that are walking along here, then nah, uh, don't worry about them. if we've got pedestrians walking 
down here and you knock them down, then you're technically looking at a vehicular manslaughter charge potentially. We'll so that close to the target. I'm going to stay behind you and you're going to go on the road up to the flywheel's garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cheers, Sheriff. God, what are they doing? Two thirty six will be code for tonight. God damn it. Head to the yellow jack and Charlie 200, 200 it's going to be 10, 7, 100. 240. You're all right, good. Two thirty six gonna be a property check. Three zero four five yellow jack in. Uh, hello, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Okay. Two thousand six for me tonight, code four. Oh, what the hell? God damn it.
237 County, property check 3035, Algonquin. That'd be Bandit Mode 3. Two thirty seven, two thirty six. Go ahead. Three ninety five Lima. Ten four, sir. Ten four. You want to sweep up? Sure. <laughs> Two thirty six. Was there a bolo for a black motorcycle? Not that I'm aware of. Ten four. What do you say? Blue, blue salt on RS, pull it over. Two face six, it's gonna be a ten eleven outside station two, Alhambra driving a blue salt in RS. Registration play is going to be 1127 occupied time for no additionals at this time. How you doing, sir? Deputy Will Shield, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stops, your manner of driving, coming up Alhambra Drive, and the speed you were going at. Is there any reason for the way you were driving? Uh, it was just the car in front of me was going a bit slow, he was acting really weird and shit, so I just, you know, wanted to get past him as quick as possible without causing an obstruction to anyone else. Okay, and are you aware that, obviously, the speed limit on this road? Two, three, seven, I just got a... I assume it's 50, same as Joshua? Uh, it's gonna be 35 on this road, sir. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I didn't know that. Okay. You got, uh, any ID on you? So that I can have a look at. Also, any registration insurance documents to the vehicle, please. Uh, yeah, give me a second. No dramas. It's gonna be a white female, red shirt, blue jeans, blue short description. Right. Okay, there you go. Okay, dogs. Cheers, Morgan. I'll be back with you in a moment. Yep, so I'll take time. One for playing and eluding. Okay. 
Okay, Morgan, here's your information back. Um, look, I'm just going to leave it to a verbal warning for now. Um, obviously, you've stated that you didn't know about the speed limit, which, you know, I'm, I'm not going to argue about, but now you do. So, obviously, if you are seen oh. driving around here again at the manner of driving that you were, then obviously you will be ticketed next time. You're free yeah, to pull. No, you're free to pull off once I've uh, got back to my vehicle, turn my lights off. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is it possible I could do like a U-turn here and head back the way I was going? Yeah, yeah. Or, I... That's that's all no right. dramas. All right, I all appreciate right. it. That's alright. Stay safe. And you. Two thirty-six can be tonight. Two thirty seven thirty six. Can you turn around? I'm at three zero three six Panorama. I could use a ride for my ten seven. Ten four. Advise you were three zero three seven. Uh, never mind. Right here. Hi, right, Mike. Uh, she's going in for evading and assault on a government official. Okay. Um, have you patted her down, everything like that? Not yet. I was going to walk to my vehicle, but. Alright, let's get her patted down here. Um, and then whatever she's got, um, I'll let you handle and I'll take her back to the station, get her in a cell for you, and then I'll let you sort out the arrest report and. Paperwork and evidence and all that lot. Alright, man. <coughs> At this time, we'll be heading you down. Do you have anything that can put me, sick me, hurt me, harm me in any way, shape, or form? Tell me so now. Well, I mean, my, my slingshot's in my back right pocket. So yeah. you better not be touching my butt too long. Man, that's not why I'm patting you down. I'm patting you down for weapons or anything. Anything else besides your slingshot? piece of paper that has my name written on it's in my front right pocket or anything else certainly a slingshot could be considered an offensive no, weapon cheers Where are these feathers coming from? Say again? Uh, dinner. Do you have feathers coming from your dinner? Yeah. Man, I'm not being funny. You, you Mate, I'm not being funny, but she's got a very strange bulge coming from her shirt, and I'm pretty That's sure... That's just the Hooters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the last thing it is, ma'am. No, it's the Hooters. It's your Hooters, alright. Hang on. Hey! Hey! Back up! Get out of here, local. Yeah. Alright, hang on. You better not be trying to take my hooters. Sir, leave now. I'm not happy about what's going you, on in her shirt. Not. If we had a female officer or deputy around, I would have. Yeah, this time we, yeah, this time we don't have a female officer, so we're gonna have to do this old-fashioned way. Ah, Jesus! Hang on one sec. Why is there something that's just poked me through your shirt? Uh, that I might have been him. my hooters. That definitely wasn't... Your, your hooters would not poke us the way it did. Can you go close the phone? Good job. Fine, if you reach down towards my belly button, you should be able to grab the feet. Alright. 
unless you're Team Chicken. She's gone. Ha uh ha, -huh, good one. Uh. Here, let's step over here out of the roadway. Let's go in front of the dash cam. Yeah. Man, I'm over this way, boys. Alright, uh, Deputy Mead, if you want to go ahead and uh, just lift the shirt to about waist high. I mean, it's already above my waist. Like I said, if you just reach down. Okay, you see on the front of my shirt where there's like the two little taily bits that are tied together? Right, right about there is where it's feet speed. If you just right. kind of reach there, grab its feet, okay. pull it out through the bottom. You do the honors. It was an owl under her shirt. Hooter. Huh. Okay. Alright. Um. Yeah. I'll transport her mood if you want to. Uh, where's your car at? My car is like by the bulletin board over there. But I can walk. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. A billboard. Bulletin board. Same distance. Yeah. Alright. Um. I'll. Give you a lift to your car, mate. We'll just place her in. If you want to bag that owl up, please. It's technically evidence. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Uh. <clears throat> Muscle spasm. I'm gonna put it back in your truck. Yeah, Rog. All right, help him. Oh, mood. Oh, never mind. So, does this mean yeah. the woodpecker and the uh, squirrel don't count? Or? I originally stopped her. She looked for. Um, she was throwing stones at my ve at passing vehicles on East Joshua. Uh huh. She threw a stone at my vehicle. Uh, hit the windshield. I'll take pictures of that. And send it to the soup. But, yeah. Um, my vehicle, turn around, stop her, get her identification. Right. Anime Billy. Yeah, she's, uh, she's nine sauce. Yeah, prior to her assault and stuff. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright, right. thanks, mate. Alright. Uh, right. Meet you at Sheriff's office. Yeah, no worries. that I had eggs from a nest in my other pocket. I think one of them got squished. 237 will be right. 315. Oh, no. I think all of them got squished. Have you... <sighs> Feeling pretty soggy that side of my leg. How many eggs do you have on you, ma'am? Oh, there were about like or four, just little brown bird eggs.
Thank Help, you. Sarge. Um, we got one in for assault on a government official and uh, mood actually if you want to tell the custody sergeant while I pat her down again. Yep. Actually, I can, I can handle it from here if you want to go back to Nate. You only have us two. Yeah, that's alright, mate. We'll, uh, might, yeah, as may have, might as well. All might right, as well. Sarge. Do this. We'll stop this woman for the, um, throwing stones, vehicles, passing on East Joshua. Uh, she's being charged with she's assault and the government kid. official, as well as uh, fleeing and eluding. Um, yeah. I can't believe I just did that on stream. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do yourself in, fun. Ruby, if, uh, if it's too painful for you. Oh, God. Uh, right. Uh, Mood, if you can get us a, um, if you can get us some... Spare clothes, please, because she's got some egg, egg yolks, which is uh, now soiled her shorts. I didn't soil my shorts. We'll be right with you, okay? Mm hmm. 236, I can handle that desk. Okay, ma'am. The um, We'll get some spare clothes to you shortly um in regards to that um you you aware of uh obviously what you're being charged with i mean i kind of didn't really pay much attention if you want to like maybe email or something to my lawyer or something like that right uh maybe if you're right to email it to a lawyer i'll deal with the front desk issue Right, hey, how you doing? Change, I'll be going over to my oh, yeah. desk. I won't can you just do me a favor just before um, we start? Can you just take your helmet off you just for uh, identity for, purposes um, on CCTV, ma'am? Assault on a government official because mm -hmm. you do that stuff for me. Thank you. And then you're also going to be arrested for running away, okay? Oh, God. Yeah, I hate those types of injuries. Yes, I don't really care much. I've been in prison before. Alrighty. It's, uh, it's a little stuck. Give me a sec. Okay. See if I could pry it off over here in the corner. There we go. There we go. It, it's a little stuck. It is. Nah, I appreciate that. So, uh, what can I help you with? Uh, so my friend got. Well, see, we lived together, and uh, he uh, he he lost his friend earlier today, and. Uh, okay. He said he was gonna go mountain biking, and he he was very upset. He he was like he was like suicidal. He he took his his guns with him, and he said he was gonna go go, and he hasn't come back in two days. Okay, man. What's the, what's this uh what's this gentleman's name? It's gonna be Deacon Saint John. Okay, stand by. How uh, would you spell his name, please, ma'am? What happened? How do you spell his name? D E A C O N S T J O H N. Okay, and uh, is Deacon the owner of the Yellow Jack, I believe? Yes. Okay, and what. Uh, where do you think he's gone in terms of to go mountain biking? I mean, up the mountains, is that Chiliad, Mount Gordo? Uh, over by Mount Gordo, by the lighthouse, he, he used to go with his friend. Uh, t his friend just took his life earlier two days ago, and right. he came home very just upset, distraught, and he, he said he was going to go, and he, he, he seemed very upset and unstable. Okay, just uh, bear with me while I write this down, ma'am. Suicidal. And did you, did you say he'd taken his uh, firearms with him? Yes. What firearms has he taken? 
I know he took his handgun, and I, I think he took something else, but I'm not sure. Uh, what? Another firearm? Uh, yeah, another another gun, okay. but I don't know. Okay, so a handgun and other firearms. And you say he's believed to be in the Mount Gordo area. Yes, he he, he we he, he needs to be found. He's. He's very mentally unstable at this point. He was talking okay. about committing suicide, blah, blah, blah. I think he might be off his meds, too. I'm not sure. What sort of meds does he have? It's for, uh, for loony people. It's the people that like, have, like... Yeah, what is that specifically? Oh, I don't know. It's a pill. He's just on some sort of prescription medication for... Okay. Yes. Okay, what... What does the medication help with? Uh, for crazy in the head. He was in the military and he, he's crazy now. Right. Prescription medication. What, so are we talking PTSD? I think so, or something like that. Okay. Um, and is he aggressive when approached, or...? Uh, I don't know, but he was aggressive earlier. He was just upset, and he was... I, I don't know. Okay. He was out of it. Approach with caution. Object. Maybe... Aggressive. Anyone that approaches him. Okay. Um, right. And can I just take your details down real quickly, please? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. It's going to be Jess Santo. Okay, and how do you spell your last name, Jess? S A N T O S. T O S. Yes, S A N T O S. Okay. Um, and your date of birth, please, Jess. It's gonna be three thirty, nineteen eighty-six. Okay, and uh, contact number I can catch you on, please. It's going to be 48. Yep. As in, it's going to be um, 48. You got that one? Yeah. No, I mean like a contact number, mobile number, landline. Uh, Yeah, it's going to be 48. I don't, I don't really have any other contacts. Okay. Okay. Okay, dogs. No dramas. Leave with us. Um, we'll get a ball up out for him, and um, we'll assign a game warden unit to start looking in the area. Um, see if we can get you know resources towards Mount Gordo. Um, start searching for him. Um, last I remember, that hangout spot was by the lighthouse. Okay. It was up by a little lake at the lighthouse. Yeah. Stand by. Two, okay, and what what was he wearing? He was wearing like a a black hat. Yep. Blue jeans and like a black shirt and brown boots. Oh, he was also wearing like a black vest. He has tattoos. I'm sorry, say that last bit again. It was he had tattoos. And he was wearing like a black vest, a black shirt, blue jeans, like brown boots, and like a black hat. Okay. 
Okay, just what we'll do is we'll get, uh, like I say, we'll get a bolo out for him so that, you know, all law enforcement personnel are aware of that he's missing. Um, we'll get him on the MISPAS reports as well, and uh, we'll get this information circulated for you. Um, if there's anything else that you can possibly remember, then please ring uh, our non-emergency number, which is 101, and uh, we will add any information in regards to this uh, onto our onto our uh, report. But um, hopefully we find them in time, because obviously this is quite a serious matter. All right, thank you. No dramas. Cheers, Jess. Thank you. Oh my god. Literally just me and mood out. So it's that he's got access to a bullpup shotgun. Yeah, on add a bow line. Uh, information desk. Thirty-seven, thirty-six. Go ahead. Do you know the penal code for evading? I can't find it in the code of law. Negative. Uh, if you just search in the search bar, it should come up. I'm just busy with a MISPA report at the minute. 
Two ten four. Thank you. Okay. Bear with me, guys. No, no, I like we've got mail apparently. Okay, right. Um, not gonna lie, guys, I'm probably gonna call it there due to, um, well, my stream keeps dropping frames and I don't know why, guys. And also, I'm really starting to get tired. Um, there's not that many units on, so, uh, I'm gonna have to go say goodbye here and now. Yeah!